This is my number one EC box. This is a subscription envelope from Gemstone. And this is my uh, EC Fan Addict Club uh, certificate. Now, crime suspense stories, number one. These are all Johnny Craig covers. Picking up a shine here. should be saying something but these covers kind of speak for themselves I'm trying to uh, get a good picture of each one so you can pause it if you want George Evans there. took over the cover duties. That's George Evans. That's Jack Kamen. This sure has a badass uh, Creekstein story in it. It's Kamen. And this is the final issue, I believe, number 27. That's Jack Kamen. Frontline Combat, Harvey Kurtzman. Such a fun title, lots of good artists in this. These covers up to this point are all Harvey Kurtzman. The quality wood takes over after a while. Special issue, Iwo Jima. This issue has a Thunder Jet story by Alex Toth. There's Jack Davis. And Severin and Elder. Jack Davis. There's Wallywood. I think that's the last issue, number 13. No. What am I talking about? I think there's another Wallywood. And a 12. That one's out of order. It's Jack Davis. Out of Fear, number one. He's had screwy. I think it started in 17, 18, 19. This was one of the first DCs, original DCs I ever had. I got a copy of that. I was very young. I'm a big fan of these. Uh, Al Feldstein, forgot his name there for a minute. Covers. I think his were some of the best. That's Johnny Craig. Feldstein. Uh, he's got all out of order. The Feldstein. Just 
go through and look at these boxes before I start the video and put them in order. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, Graham Engels, how are you doing? Um, this was really Graham Engels' book after a certain point with the old witch. They called him Ghastly. That's how he signed his work. There's a classic cover there. Disturbing. This is one of the great horror comics, core stories of all time. Who are you? How's by you? Great story in that. Shot of that one. Who's Jack Davis? Piracy, technically, it's a new trend book. It came along in 53, I think. Ran eight issues, kept going during the new direction. But it's technically, you know, a new trend book. It's Reed Crandall. Didn't do very many covers. Craig Steen, he's great. Great, great cover. And shock suspense stories. There's a Wally Wood cover. Johnny Craig? I think so. Maybe it's Wally Wood. That's a wood there. That woman in the reflection. Ah! Great cover. Wood. There's a classic. The original of this sold for $100,000 or something. Crazy. It's a Feldstein. And Feldstein. That's Jack Kamen. That's John Craig. This is a classic. This isn't a gemstone. This is an East, East Coast Comics reproduction. I read that when I was very young and Stop me from ever trying heroin, that story. It's crazy. That's the gemstone edition. And this has got the classic squeeze play for Zeta's story in it. 
badass Hollywood. Yeah, it's Jack Cannon. George Evans. George Evans. George Evans. And this is another subscription envelope. Craig Steen art for Impact Comics. This is EC box number two. Starting with Tales of the Crypt, number one. Love these early Feldstein covers. of wood, number 10. And Feldstein, Davis, became Davis's title. Fists and Tails, that's Harvey Kurtzman. Evans, Jack Davis. This is a book that came out later, Two Fisted Tales, Volume 2. Vault of Horror. Johnny Craig's flagship title. He did a lot of great covers and great stories. one when they originally published it they tried to take the axe out of his head but in the reprint they put it back in it's got the great Kurtz, uh, Craigstein catacomb story This is a cover coverless original. And uh, Weird Fantasy. Uh, some really great Feldstein cover there. Oh no, I'm lost in space. I guess I don't have a lot to say about EC Comics. They've always been my favorites since 
I discovered them when I was a kid. Kind of wordy, I must admit. But the art was great. Frazetta, Williamson and Frazetta. And Weird Science, the first of the science fiction titles. science fantasy this should properly have been in a new direction uh, box but there was room for it here so I ended up here nice footnote they combined weird science and weird fantasy together and then when they came out there were 15 cents which was 50% higher of all the other books on the stand. And there's that classic Frazetta cover. Then it changed its name to Incredible Science Fiction because weird was too weird for the comics code. And our final one is that great wood cover. This is my EC collection, box number three. This start, these are the New Direction books, starting with Aces High. This book was uh, prob, uh, was prob, prim, primarily George Evans, who liked to draw the uh, World War I aircraft. And he was very good at it. But there was also a lot of uh, Kriegstein and uh, Davis and s some wood. Extra, that was Johnny Craig's baby. I he did a lot of the writing and, and uh, I think he edited this book. Got two number ones. Number two. This was... Uh, Stories of uh, reporters and photographers traveling the world. Next impact, number one has the infamous Craigstein Nazi story. Number two, this was uh, Jack Davis. Uh, did a lot of work in here. Craigstein did some. Uh, a lot of good artists. Angles. MD, another George Evans book. Stories of uh, you know, our fighting men of medicine. Psychoanalysis. This was really a strange title, kind of a attempt at uh, throwing something to the wall like spaghetti to see if it stuck. This book was done entirely, uh, the artwork was done entirely by Jack Kamen. Valor, this was the stomping grounds of uh, Wally Wood and Al Williamson and Bernie Craigstein. And Joe Orlando did a few stories, too. That was the New Direction books. 
these are pre-trends uh, that built up to uh, Crime Patrol became uh, Tales from the Crypt. A lot of Johnny Craig covers. And this is the first appearance of Tales of the Crypt. A fantastic Johnny Craig cover. I take it back. That's the second. This is the first. And War Against Crime, another pre-trend book. It's called pre-trend because uh, the trend was the horror comics, and these were the comics that came out before the before the horror. War Against Crime again. Johnny Craig was uh, the big cover artist at the time. This is the first appearance of the Vault of Horror. Next is my uh, uh, collection of the annuals. I'm working, I got the com uh, complete, I think I've got a complete uh, Gemstone EC collection, but they also published them in collections of like five issues as annuals. From the crypt. Haunt of Fear. Frontline Combat. Panic. And Two Fisted Tales. Vault of Horror. Fantasy, Weird Science, and Weird Science Fantasy. And finally, the Weird Science Fantasy with the iconic Frizzetta cover. This cover was done as a famous funnies uh, Buck Rogers cover, but it was thought to be too violent, so they uh, kind of made some modifications and used it as this cover.